What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this eight big changes or features that they've added to eFootball 2024 with V3.2 and season three. Okay, so maybe you've moved on from the game. Maybe you've uninstalled it. Maybe you're looking to get back into it when you see some of the legends coming, or maybe you're just looking for something to do over the Christmas. Hopefully this video covers everything. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that they've added new is a brand new mini game that coincides with your login bonus. So simply in this mini game, you just have to score a penalty. I usually aim for bottom corner full power, and we usually score. As you advance and as you score loads of penalties, as you see here, you will eventually get a free name error. Roughly around two days from now, on Tuesday after maintenance, you'll be able to log in. And once you've scored all your penalties, you will be able to get name error. I have a full video done on this on some tips and tricks as well. So make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. Next up, we do have co-op and co-op matchmaking. So a lot of people are asking me about this. If you're new to the game or if you've never played this before, this was part of Pez, the Pez franchise before it transitioned to eFootball, where you could create a room and team up with either teammates or you could match make for teammates and play other guys. So you can actually invite players uh, from your friend list or previous players that you've played together, as we're doing here. And of course, you just go into your normal play player matchmaking den, where you're going to be going up against two other guys that have matchmaked or else two other guys that are in a party themselves. So essentially, you're going to be playing the same matchmaking system as Divisions or any online experience. And this is what it looks like. Obviously, it's 3v2 in this one. It can be 3v3. If you matchmake as an individual person, you're usually paired with one player as of right now. Maybe you can try and get uh, two players, two teammates extra. But it's a bit of fun. It's nice to get away from that sweat of online 1v1 as well. We also have co-op messages, so sticking with the team of co-op here, this is a fairly self-explanatory one, but they've added this feature within team play or within co-op to not only be able to communicate before the match, so say you're teaming up with a random person that you're not able to message or you're not able to talk to on PSN, you can just send a quick message and you'll see a lot of the preset ones. Also, when you are in-game, right, they have added back this messaging system within the game as well. Again, this was in PEZ. If you've never played it on PEZ, this is essentially what it is here. So when you score or when you miss, these preset ones will come up. It would be nice to be able to customize these, but obviously I could see these this becoming very toxic as well. If you could put in your own custom emotes or upload images, it would be quite fun when they do add edit mode. But for now, they are preset. You can change one or two of them. But yeah, it's just a nice little inclusion type thing, right? Next up, we have what a lot of people have been asking for for pretty much since the game launched, right? Including myself. I think this is a huge one, which is the GP renewal. So what do I mean by GP renewal? Well, before, if your player was out of contract, as you see here with Neymar, you're obviously going to have his contract expired, right? This expiration on the contract usually lasts for about 365 days until the contract expires. And the only way to do it was to unlock it by using in-game items, which were contract renewal tokens. As you see here, this was a 10-day one in the match pass. So you had to grind these, you had to play the match pass, or you had to release players. I had a video on it. Now that's all done away with. You can simply grind GP or use GP to renew the contract, right? As you see here with Neymar, we are going to contract renew him and he's going to have 45 days on his contract. And you can keep doing that for unlimited amount, okay? Different players have different... Uh, prices for how much their contract is going to be and of course you can still use the tokens if you have a lot of tokens you can still use them but as you see Makalele, Iniesta there is going to be a difference in how much the contract is going to cost we also bring our attention to training players so training players lads has really changed okay I'm going to slightly touch on this but there is a lot to get into here trust me there is a lot of stuff changed within the game the game mechanics um if you play one style system, which is a lot of one touch passing and you play a lot of, you know, meta style stuff, if you're a high level player, a lot of the nuanced gameplay stuff that they've done mightn't really kind of become apparent unless you start, you know, coming up against really, really top guys that are able to match your level. You know, usually you will just overpower somebody by your pure skill on the game. But for the average player, for most players that fall into that category that are playing this game, you know, semi, semi serious, but casual, I suppose, right? 
training has become more important than ever, okay? I'm ha gonna have a full blowout video on training players, starting with defense, then midfield, and then attackers first, specifically V3.2, but essentially what we're doing in this video here, in this clip, is showing you exactly how to train up a player. Train a player for his position for the role you want to do, just to keep it simple there. Moving on, we do have my league. So this is something that people have been crying out for for months, specifically offline players, okay? This is an offline mode. I'm calling it Master League Lite. There is a couple of features in here that will follow the traditional career mode or season mode or league mode or division mode for offline players, right? You've got your schedule, you pick a club, any club that you pick, it doesn't matter. Your dream team, your dream team, uh, club, whatever players you choose within your game plan or within your squad for your dream team that you use online will be used in this. It has a standings, but it doesn't have goal ranking, assist ranking, player of the month, none of that. It's very bare bones, but it does follow a proper uh, schedule of 38 games, right? And as you can see here with our team, this is going to use our full powered squad, okay? Now, when we go in here, you will also notice this exchange points. What happens here is when you play matches, you pick your level that you want to play, you earn my league points, and with those points, within this game mode, it's self-contained. The only point of these points, pardon the pun, is to use them to loan players, to get players that you might have not got before to be able to play within my league, or to give your team a boost if you're coming up against a difficult opponent, such as a legend difficulty player. So we're signing the rock at the back, Harry Maguire, player of the month for United recently. You can also sign items here. Again, don't worry, I'm going to have a full blowout video of my league. We're just kind of touching on a few bits and pieces here to get everybody up to date, especially if you've kind of like steered clear of eFootball or you had uninstalled it and you're re back, uh, reinstalling it again, right? Next up, we do have divisions, and I want to talk about the changes coming to divisions. I mentioned high level players before. And this kind of follows that pattern again of where divisions is going to be going in the future. So eFootball League or divisions as people call it is going to be now separated into uh, different tiers, right? So as you see here, we are in division three. There is no rating for division one to three anymore. It's all done on a ranking basis or sorry, no promotion relegation in terms of uh, points that you need to earn. It's all done on rating, okay? So you can see here that our current rank and our current rating, even though we have a 40% win ratio, don't judge me on that, lads. It's, it, it's, it's all changed, right? More so for people that want to actually advance and be top of the top, right? Next up, we do have a training within Dream Team as well. And this is our final point for this video. We do have more stuff to bring out. And obviously, as I said at the very start of the video, we will be doing a gameplay specific big changes as well video. So you'll notice here that we can pick our Dream Team or our Authentic Team. This authentic team is the same as it always was before V3.2. So you pick a team, you pick any squad that you want in the game. And of course, like my league, which we saw earlier, once you pick a team here, it follows the same pattern of the players' ratings offline, okay? So eventually when they do add an offline mode, whether it's Master League or whatever that becomes, you will be able to do that um, with these training modes. You'll be able to see what teams, what licenses, licenses are in there, okay? So we'll be able to just load up Ajax or any team, United, Madrid, Barcelona, PSG, Juventus. It's irrelevant. We can pick anyone that we want. Now, they've added this Dream Team team selection, okay? This is proceeding to train in using the currently selected game plan. So whatever game plan you have, you're starting 11 from the Dream Team menu. That is what's going to carry on into this. Now, I think this is a brilliant addition, especially for somebody like me as a content creator. I research so much stuff in this game and test out so much stuff. And to be able to do it in a controlled environment like this is a godsend, lads. Honestly, it's unbelievable. It's going to change how I do my videos quite effectively um, and save a lot of time, right? And as you can see, for the likes of the new Salah, the Blitz Curler Salah, you can hit the sweet spot and find, you know, find your sweet spot and just practice 100 shots and say, right, I can score from here 99% of the time if I get this right, or I can miss from here. It's also really effective for, you know, if you sign a new player and you don't want to level him up, you can see what his style is like, how fast he is, um, you know, his free kick ability and practice all of that sort of stuff. So I think it's a big win for people that like to test things out. So that is it, lads, for eight huge changes or eight big changes off the pitch that have been brought to eFootball 2024 with V3.2 Season 3. Let me know your thoughts. I will be back soon. Thanks for checking out the video. Any feedback, any constructive criticism, you know what to do. We'd love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.